everybody's itching for, excited for. I mean, that, that's football uh, for us. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's all about the build up. You know, we still want to take things day at a time. Don't want to be thinking about Monday when we got today, tomorrow, and obviously uh, Monday to get up to. So, yeah, it's all about just, you know, going day by day. But, yeah, we're all excited for Monday. So, like, navigating, I mean. My- yeah, definitely. I agree with him on all that day by day. Definitely, dog. Take it day by day, one step at a time. It won't be easy, homie. Some grieving, but they're going to have to let it out, get it out in a certain way. <laughs> but by, by the time Monday come around and pads come on, it's really Monday time to ground with them pads. It's a different story, different animal, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's time to really lock in. It's spots on the line. It's spots on the line. You hear me, dog? Real spots on the line, dog. Heavy. Let's get it. Kai lost for the season. Shaq wasn't out here. Like, mm-hmm. you're thin at the cornerback position. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's part of the game, man. I think every every year I've been in the league, especially even thinking about back to my rookie year, we finished the season with a whole new 16 DBs than we had at the beginning. So uh, it's all it's, it's part of the game. Uh, obviously, you know, we, we got to. Part of the game, definitely part of the game, but still tough, especially with the pass and the Kyrie, still tough. The ACL injury to Makai Blackman, and he can't get on here and cry for real. But you understand, dog, every, everybody knows what's going on for real, but they have to adapt. Ain't nobody going to feel sorry for him, you hear me? <laughs> Just like last year when, Jeff, when Jefferson went out, Kirk went out, you know what I'm saying? Darisol went out. Did nobody feel bad? Next man up, homie. You got to have your team ready, though. Get build your depth chart, you hear figure out things and uh move forward in uh certain situations uh and but uh, i think you know we we got a good group you know we we got guys that that's the whole reason why we brought depth in this uh off season we got guys to fill it you gotta have depth you gotta have depth no way around it you gotta have depth homie that's why you see teams with major massive injuries with great depth adapt huh <laughs> It affects them, but it doesn't affect them to the point where they lose it all. They break down, dog. It's a domino effect. You know what I'm saying? Not just total black bad play. You hear me? It's about development, building your roster, having your team ready, homie. Period, huh? Do the Vikings have depth in the necessary areas, homie? It's been a course and a problem for so many years. You hear me? It's still questionable, homie, especially in the trenches. We can talk about the trenches all day. Huh? As far as lack of depth, dog, and I don't care about no Brandell. We can talk to we can talk about the cornerback room all day. As far as depth, dog, you hear me? And I don't want to talk about no Duke Shelley, dog. Huh? People got it twisted, homie. Don't talk to me about no Duke Shelley. You hear me? When he's not even a starting cornerback, point blank, period, homie. I'm gonna get into uh into what's his name Cox later. What is it, Jabril Cox, the linebacker? He might have some potential. But I want to hear about no player. Don't come gassing, hyping no player up, dog. <laughs> Talking about he he can, he may, he should be. He did this before. That don't mean nothing, dog. You hear me? That don't mean nothing, dog. Tell me about a player who come in that thing ready to bang and contribute early in, in whatever position he plays, dog. That's what I want to hear about, homie. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> Get on his head top, chat. Get on his head top, chat. I don't care what he's talking about. Get on his head top. <laughs> Get on his head top, homie. You hear me? <laughs> Florida Embrys cracked me up. You freeze to death in Minnesota. Winner, and you'd be describing how hard it is to be a Viking fan. <laughs> you hear me? And I like the heat. I, I like the heat much better than the cold. You hear me? I don't like the cold at all, for real. But I can bang wherever, dog. <laughs> Adapt wherever. You hear me? <laughs> Heavy. The Dolphins can't do that, boy. <laughs> Uh, they can't do that. They can't leave the heat. They need the heat. They can't adapt when they away from the heat, dog. That's why they couldn't go to Buffalo and win so fast. They couldn't run the ball. Chumps. You hear me? That's why they couldn't go to Buffalo and do their thing. They saw, boy. They can't adapt, bro. You hear me? <laughs> like I say, I love the heat better than the cold, but I'll adapt quickly and swiftly no matter where, dog. Boys can't do that. <laughs> Cry about what? Ain't nobody crying, Trevion. Who crying about what? <laughs> Try not to contradict yourself, nephew Trey. <laughs> Facts, you hear me? <laughs> Period, dog. Tyreek is wide right receiver three on our team. Flat lips. <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about that, Ty, uh, Isaiah. <laughs> Tyreek fucking around, be number two. You hear me? <laughs> Tyreek Hill fucking around, uh, definitely number two. Put Jordan Addison to the number three spot. Let's not let's not get too crazy, Isaiah Bradley. You hear me? Let's calm it down, Isaiah. Calm it down. I rock with y'all. Fuck with y'all, Isaiah. But you know the good damn well Tyreek Hill come over here. Huh? <laughs> you know good and damn well Tyreek Hill come over here. Oh, he's the number two. Jetta's one. Addison the number three, dog. 
Simple as that. You talk about crazy receiving core. Man, what it could it be? <laughs> but never get carried away, Isaiah Bradley. I understand. I understand he disrespecting, but you know Tyreek Hill come over here. Tyreek Hill is a 1B. There's a 1B, homie. You hear? <laughs> come on now, Isaiah. Let's not get carried away, dog. Let, let's not get carried away, dog. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> let's not get carried away, dog. Heavy, homie. You hear? Let's calm it down, Isaiah. Let's calm it down, dog. Point blank, period, dog. <laughs> he talking about he talking about here a, he a right receiver three over here. No, can't say that Isaiah. We can't say that big uh, big dog. <laughs> we can't say that Isaiah. Come on now, let's be realistic now. Lynn and uh, get the job done. What's it like just keeping the weight up? Right. I mean, is that a challenge? As you're running around, yeah, always uh, guys keeping the yeah, weight up, uh, especially uh, in August and this humidity out. So I guess Josh Metellus has. He's been trying to gain weight, basically, from what the question that was just asked. So it sounds like he has a difficult time uh, gaining weight and also keeping the weight on, dog. But he puts that work in. Stamina superb. Stamina conditioning, strength and conditioning, dog. He he has some of the best, homie, period. Marathon runner and all of that. But he's trying to bulk up and gain weight, which is a smart move, a very smart move for him, if you ask me. Bulking up, putting more weight on. You're going to take more blows, take more, be be banging more in the middle, dog. You hear me? They're going to have to really maneuver him around, especially with certain injuries, huh? So a smart move by him, banging up, banging up. You hear me? Bulking up, getting more weight on, get more power with him. But can he, can he keep it on, though? <laughs> you hear me? Probably has a high metabolism, huh? <laughs> you want to chat like it up. You want to chat like it up. Let's get him, man. But yeah, Josh Metellus probably has a high metabolism. So he's going to have to eat more, dog, you know, pack on the weight, keep the weight on. No cap. Who is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? Andy Petkovich. Chiefs are the best, man. You Taylor Swifty. You Taylor Swifty, Andy. You Andy Pansy. I'm going to call you Andy Pansy. You hear me? Andy Pansy. You Taylor Swift. You Taylor Swift fiend. Huh? You fake Chiefs fan. You hear me? You Andy Pansy. You talking about Chiefs are the best. Oh, how long you been a Chiefs fan? Oh. When'd you become a Chiefs fan, Andy Pansy? You hear me? Or are you a Taylor Swift fan, chump? Oh, I get it. I get it. You start liking the Chiefs uh, about a year or two ago. <laughs> oh, you clown. You ass white. <laughs> you hear me? Tell me something about the Chiefs. I don't know, Andy. Tell me something about the Chiefs. I don't know, Andy. You hear me? Andy Pansy. Andy Pansy. Tell me something about the Chiefs. I don't motherfucking know. <laughs> Yeah, Chiefs are the current champs. He can say, I don't care. Bandito, that's facts, but I don't care. Hey, let him be the current champ. I don't think he's a fan, Bandito. I don't think this guy right here is a fan, Bandito. Ask him why is he a fan, Bandito. <laughs> can you answer that, Andy? And Andy, why you answering that? Do me a favor, Andy. Like, comment, and subscribe, dog. Hit that bell. Like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell, Andy Pandy. But you tell me in the chat. Or you want to come up and talk? Let me know, Andy. <laughs> but I want to know why you're a Chiefs fan. You hear me? I want to know why you're a Chiefs fan, duh. You hear me? Or like what Isaiah say? You feel me, Isaiah? You feel me, dog? <laughs> He's a new fan. He's a new fan. He's a stand, man. He's a jive turkey, man. Smooth criminal jive turkey, man. <laughs> huh? He's a new era cat, dog. You hear me, man? Take them rings and shove them up your ass. You tell Patrick Mahomes, take them Super Bowl rings and shove them up his ass, man. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> tell him that, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> go, go tell Patrick Mahomes that. You hear me, Andy Pansy? Andy Pansy? Go tell Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, whoever else, <laughs> to take them rings and shove them up their ass. Travis Kelsey, him and his little fake relationship with Taylor Swift. I got so pissed off when I saw them Swifties in the building, all up in Viking Stadium, all up in the USA Bank, shaking their ass and wearing their jerseys. Man, I was so tired of the Vikings fans. I knew right then. I knew right then. The Minnesota Vikings had some of the softest fans in the world, softest fans in America, dog. <laughs> True pansies. They just like Andy Pansy. You hear me? They just like these Andy Pansies. They let them Taylor Swifties come in there, sell the rent out, sell the bank out, 
cover damn covered a U.S. bank up with damn Taylor Swift jerseys, taking over the stadium. <laughs> you ain't got no more pride than that. You ain't got more pride than that, huh? You Vikings fans, you hear me? You go to the K game, you be quiet. Chiefs piss me off, bro. All this Taylor Swift hype, this Travis Kelsey hype coming all up in our in our stadium and talking shit, huh? You take those rings and shove them up your ass. Shove them up your ass, Sandy Reed. How about that? Respect to you, but shove them up your ass, Reed. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Down to business. Shout out, Baba. Shout out, Baba. I'm in Alabama right now. It's hotter in Minnesota right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Shout out, Bama. Roll tie, baby. It's hot in Bama. Oh, yeah. It's hot in Bama, ain't it? <laughs> Hey, hey, global warming, Delton Vincent. Global warming, big dog. You hear me? Global warming. <laughs> global warming, dog. Okay, great football insight. <laughs> Let's go, man. And, and Andy Dolphins doesn't give a fucking chance. Hey, this guy's a goofy, bro. Speaking of hyperbole, keyboard warrior incel, heavy dog, heavy. <laughs> Tell him show his face. Tell him come up here, show his face. Come up here, battle debate. Let me drop the link and come up here, show your face, Andy. Tell me why you're a Chiefs fan, Andy. Come up here and show your face. Be a man, Andy. Don't be a fan, Stan. Be a man, Andy. You talking so much. You got so much to say. Come explain yourself to the people. Tell them why you are a Chiefs fan. Explain why you're not a bandwagon Chiefs fan, Andy. <laughs> Let me know, Andy Pansy. Where'd you go? Don't run. Don't run, Andy. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, come on up here, Pat. Come on up in here. Come on up, Andy. I'll bring you up. I'll bring you in. Let's talk about it. Let's debate about it. Huh? Since you're a Chiefs fan, I want to ask you some questions. I want to ask you some questions, Andy Pansy. Come on up, man. We'll take about a good good five minutes. I just want to school you real quick about your Chiefs. I know more about your Chiefs than you do. You hear me, Andy? You ass white. Waste of time, ass white. <laughs> Big skull here, boy. Never forget a year. Whoa. Out here, you know, he's sweating a lot, uh, but you know, we got a great nutritionist. Uh, she's been on me, uh, giving me different ideas, different things to uh, you know, help me stay hydrated to keep my weight up, you know, things like that. Very important, man. Smart move, get the nutritionist, staying healthy, you know and I'm saying, taking care of his body, investing in his body, right? Dog, period, bottom line, you hear me? You know, NFL tough business, your body may break down, but you take care of it, you know what I'm saying? Eat right, get a nutritionist, be healthy. Get your get your worth your rehab in, etc. Whatever you gotta do, though. <laughs> That's the difference, homie. Heavy. How, how much different do you Thank feel you, Duo. this year compared to last year? Uh, uh, a lot different. Uh, I, I'm I'm excited. Uh, I think uh, you know build, building off what I did last year, getting that everything you know just out there and being able to just sit down and just watch a thousand plus snaps of myself doing doing things that I love to do. You know, I was able to understand a lot about myself, the way I play. Learning himself, learning more about himself as a player, learning the game. Not only that, think about it. How long has he been on the Vikings? Four years going up on four years. <laughs> Different coordinators learning the game. Now he gets the same scheme again, you know, starting in a starting position, starting role. <laughs> it's all going to come to him faster. He thought he had a breakout season last year. Wait till this year, right? You hear me? <laughs> Everything's going to slow down. You know, it, it's not going to take as take his long to, uh, to adjust to everything, understand the new – vocabulary for the defense you hear and he can do it all mr versatile put him anywhere in the field dog and he's not a top 10 safety and he's not a top 10 safety i guarantee he got a chip on his shoulder what he say i'm coming for my respect i'm coming for the respect he stay healthy he gonna get it huh the talent is there the talent is there will he stay healthy homie you hear me? he has things to work on cover skills you know better in the better in the open areas one-on-ones etc Hopefully he got, you know, got more, got bigger, but also quicker as well. Maybe added some more speed, right? Let's get it. Hey, and uh, just my role in this defense. So uh, I'm excited, you know, to build upon that. Um, I know I know what I have to do this offseason. I know what I got to work on this camp uh, to get myself ready for week one. You were in Hawaii a couple weeks ago. Jay Wardy, Jay Wardy. Jay Wardy in the building. Jay Ward in the building. Shout out Jay Ward. You hear 
Shout out Jay Ward, you here? Take me through what you went through in Hawaii. Uh, me and some of the other DBs in the NFL got together. Uh, Dwight was out there too. We were just doing drills out there. There was a lot of older guys too. They were just, you know, coaching us up, giving us games. All right. So I mean, just how beneficial was? So he, so he was in Hawaii, getting down, putting that work in in Hawaii. That's respect, dog. That's what's up. Shout out Jay Ward, putting that extra work in, man. Jay Ward, another player who could definitely be in the mix now with all these injuries. Jay Ward, another uh, Jay Ward, another versatile player as well, right? At LSU, he played cornerback and safety, so he can he can play both positions if necessary, huh? <laughs> Definitely can play both positions if necessary, dog. Get him scored and let him know, scored and let him know, big dog. But Jay Ward, definitely another important player, man. He him he 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 could see a major role. Definitely has a high opportunity to make the team, homie. Period. A good chance. And they say he had a great OTAs. He looked good. He looked fast. He looked strong. So, hey, man, he can make a name for himself, right? Jay Ward. Shout out Jay Ward. Eyes on Jay Ward. Eyes on Jay Ward. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Definitely can make some noise, dog. Definitely can make some noise, dog. Point blank, period, dog. No cap. Point blank, period, man. No cap. You hear me? Definitely can make some noise, dog. Glad he put the work in. Is that coaching up? Uh, everybody critiquing everybody when they seeing something, so. Just hearing it from others who play this game and the sell in it, good understanding. You're number two in a man sharper man, iron sharp and iron, man sharper man, iron sharp and iron, huh? Ryan Flores defense. What does that mean to you and everybody else? Second year in the same defense. <laughs> Look at the smile. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at the smile, right? Say second year with Brian Flores. That's the Brian Flores effect, huh? That's that's the Brian Flores effect, you hear me? Just what it is, duh. I, Brian Flores. This is my first time having the same DC in a long time. <laughs> so hopefully, I mean, and that's a plus right there. People take that for granted. I'm sure players don't. You know, most people, casual fans, look at it like, oh, so what? You you got different coordinators. You're in the NFL. That's your job. No, it makes a difference, dog. What do I say? It takes more than just talent. It's about chemistry, man. And one thing about the Vikings, they got a lot of chemistry, man. A lot of years in, you hear me? A lot of years in. Not just the O line no more. But the secondary, linebacker core, trenches, etc. Right? They got them years in, man. It should be coming together. It could be coming together, though. We're gonna see, man. Heavy. That means a lot because I never had the same DC twice. We saw some flashes of what you're capable of last year, but you hope to show us a lot more this year. When I have a tune to present it, so I'm down. So show it. Yeah, let's talk, let him know, dog. <laughs> he said, "I'm a damn show. Show it, dog." You hear me? For real, let's go, man. Let's go. The time is now, Jay Ward. Second year player. What can he do, dog? Players like this, guys like this. You got to wait and see how they pan out. You know what I'm saying? Or is he a fourth round pick? If he can be a real contributor, if, he, if he's a player, homie, if he's a real player, dog, shit. Plus for the Vikings. So you don't know about the roster. You don't know about the true depth they have. You hear me? Until really that first day, week one, dog. Period. Dog, no cap. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it, it's, you, you can have opinions and assumptions, dog, but at the end of the day, it's tough. I'm here. So, I mean, when you're peaking, like when you're playing your best, what does that look like? Yeah. We win in this touchdown. That's my definition. <laughs> now, that course, then uh, I hear them. They're really showing this today, uh, not tomorrow, not next week. Perfect. Today perfect. is the day. I hope you will donate to training camp number three. Like that course then is kind of a was he asking you know what does it look like when he's playing his best football or the team as a whole <laughs> so you can say the way he answered it really didn't answer the question but how did the how did the media guy mean it right it's touchdown that's my business how did he, how did he phrase the course to your all right so i mean when you're peaking tell me what y'all think tell me what y'all think in the chat you hear me? <laughs> did it did he phrase the course in the wrong way or did he just answer it wrong dog did he misunderstand the course? Then let me know in the chat here. Opportunity presented, so I'm going down, so show it. All right, so, I mean, when you're peaking, like when you're playing your best, what does that look like? Now, he said when you're peaking, so I'm, I, I, I would assume that he's talking about him himself, but the way he answered the question, you hear me? It sounded like he, he thought he was speaking about or asking about the team peaking, you hear me? Like you as in team, but I think he meant you as in Jay Ward, right? Him. 
You know what I'm saying? So I think Jay Ward kind of answered that incorrectly, but it probably was a misunderstanding, dog. Point blank period. You hear me? <laughs> Just an observance, dog. <laughs> Just being observant, dog. Yeah. We went in this touchdown. That's my definition. Training camp number three, Jalen. How does Jaylen this Naylor camp number one? Jalen Naylor in the building, you hear me? Jalen Naylor in the building. He coming to kill them, dog. Jalen Naylor, every time he hit the field, he balls, you hear me? Every time he hit the bill, he, he balls, homie. Joshua Williams in the building. Joshua Williams in the building. Jordan Love overrated as fuck. Massive contract. Crazy. Well, how much he get, Josh? How much he get, dog? <laughs> how much did he get, Josh? Let me know, homie. We'll check it out. The Packers overpaid. Let him overpay, dog. <laughs> Let him overpay. You hear me, homie? The Packers overpay. Let him overpay. Matter of fact, I might check that out at the end of the live, you homie, just for some more news. 220 mil. Hold on, Josh. I know you, Captain, bro. I know you lying. Oh, Joshua Williams, I know you lying, big dog. I'm going to get to that, Josh, but I ain't going to get to it right now. You hear me? <laughs> so you're going to have to wait around. Stay tuned. But I got you, Josh. Even remind me, dog. I'm going to check that out. 220 mil. 220 mil. Now, it could go either way with him. I ain't going to speak on it yet. Hey, remind me, Josh, if you still here a little later, big dog. Stick around, big dog. Stay tuned. I'm going to get to that. <laughs> I'm going to make the Packers fans mad as hell. I'm cool with it, <laughs> but I won't be cool with it if he that one. Woo-wee. And Jordan Love, I ain't going to cap. We don't know, but he could be that one. You hear me? <laughs> Hold on.